Well, first tonight, Burlington hasn't had a permanent police chief in more than two years, but that may change come Monday night. That's when the city council will take up Mayor Moreau Weinberger's appointment to that job. Local 22's Mike Coey joins us live from the newsroom to fill us in. Mike? Well, Lauren, many people in and around the Queen City will already be familiar with the mayor's choice because he's already served as acting chief for more than a year and a half. I'm appointing John Murad to serve as Burlington's next permanent police chief. John Murad has already served as acting chief since the summer of 2020, but he's considered this period to be, in one sense, a 20-month-long job interview driven by areas of common ground. Every single person in the city wants to be safe. Every single person in the city wants it to feel like a place where we can be, where it is a welcoming community, where we have a strong economic base that is in part driven by public safety, where we are all equal before this process in the law. All of us want that. Murad says he has more to give to the Queen City, especially where some of those areas of common ground shift a bit. Where fairness is of, of concern, where disparities are of concern, I want to work in those ways with everyone, but I'm hopeful that we're at a stage now where I can change the title and begin to work in a way that a chief can work and an acting chief cannot. Murad was one of the two viable candidates the police chief search committee identified before Mayor Moreau Weinberger suspended the search in early November. He said back then if the city council wanted the search to resume, it needed to take additional steps, including boosting the position's salary. If we did not get that help from the council, help that only the council could give, that I would be moving forward with the candidates that we were fortunate to have. And uh, that's what we did, and that's how we got here today. The other candidate withdrew themselves from consideration earlier this month, leaving acting chief Murad as the only one remaining. The BPD currently has one deputy chief. It used to have two, one of whom was Murad. Rebuilding the deputy chief rank is an important part, just as rebuilding the department is. My focus right now is making certain that we get officers who are on the road and doing the kinds of work that officers do on the road. Now, Lauren, if the Burlington City Council confirms Murad's appointment Monday night, he would begin serving as permanent chief effective immediately. Live in the newsroom, Mike Coey, Local 22 News. And members of the Burlington Business Association welcomed the news today. They're calling it an exciting step forward considering public safety concerns. After a nearly three-year search, as Mike hinted, they say having a police chief will provide the business community more stability. The BBA's advocacy director says he's glad the time has come. I think with a, a permanent chief and, and moving, you know, out of a you know interim situation and certainty in that aspect uh, is encouraging to downtown businesses that we can expand some of these um, ideas and some things that have been out there, um, you know, around uh, staff safety, especially late at night, um, our nightlife economy, and ensuring that there are resources there for for staff and patrons. We will bring you coverage from Monday night's city council meeting where the group is expected to vote.